Hello, this is Cyatris, also known as Erizar, in Roblox. Today, I am going to tell you about what your life should look like. The thing is, is that I have found that real life can be like Roblox, and with that, you will see that in Roblox, there is there are some elements to it that you will want to incorporate into your lifestyle to let Roblox become a part of your real life. And part of this is going to be about your room. The thing is, is that real life is like Roblox. If you wanted to earn money or get on the top of the leaderboard or just have some fun, you need to play the game. And the thing is, adults generally are boring shits. And that means they don't play games. They get played. So what you need to do is to pick a game. You pick a game and then you play it. That's how life works. Doesn't have to be a competition, but you do have to play the game. And if you don't want to play the game, then don't play Roblox. I like games. I can always play Roblox. And I always will. The first thing you will want to do in your real life is have it resemble your Roblox Tycoon as much as possible. If you do not like your Roblox Tycoon and do not wish for it to look or be in your real life, you do not want your life to look like this, then pick a different game. Because you have to pick something if you want to play the game. This game looks like, well, this room looks like my room. You can see how nothing is in it. I have a desk, which I am using to play this game, and I am on my computer typing on the keyboard. As you can see, I am resembling my Roblox avatar perfectly. Because of this, my life is very successful and my journey in acquiring knowledge and skills for assembly code has been greatly enhanced. I can learn many life lessons in Roblox because it is equivalent to my real physical body. And I know this because I do exactly what my Roblox avatar does. Today, we are going to take a field trip outside the house. We are going to deliver these papers to the store. Just like life and its many challenges and fun giddy surprises, things could get a little unexpected in our trip right here. You see, I reset my stats in this game. I used to be pretty high up. I used to be almost one of the top 10 players in this 
Roblox Tycoon. But I decided my Roblox life was taking over my real life. So I went to this person over here and I reset my data. And with that, I started my Roblox Tycoon over and everything became new. Now I have been kicked from this experience and I will have to pick a new Roblox Tycoon or maybe I could pick something else. Maybe I want my life to be an adventure and because of that I will pick one, the one I want my life to look like and that is being a successful assembly cat assembler and because of this I will want to get a computer because I can't do assembly code without my computer so the first thing we have to do is we have to get a computer and because of that I am going to pick a game where I get a computer. Now that I am entering the game, I will be sure to replicate what happens in this game in my real life. And because of that, I will be a successful assembly cat assembler. The first thing I need to do is do exactly what I would do in real life, which is if someone rang the doorbell, I would probably hide and wait until they went away. And then as soon as they're gone and I check the windows to confirm it, I would creak open the door and see if any of my Etsy or Amazon packages have arrived and have been left at the doorstep. If I am feeling very unsociable, I will even check on my computer to see if they are delivered before I go out, just to be sure it's worth my time to move my mighty legs. But we cannot do that in this game because we do not have a computer. But this package is a computer. So we will go put the computer on the desk. And with that, we can go on the internet. And now that we're on the internet, you would think, do I need the internet to do assembly code? No, you don't. But we have it anyways, and we're going to use it because it's there. So you can go on your computer and go buy things and talk to people, which I would not encourage in the neat lifestyle because you want to be a productive assembly cat assembler, which means acquiring, adopting, adapting to the neat lifestyle. The neat lifestyle is the spirit of the neat. You will not go outside. You will acquire a healthy phobia of social interaction in the outdoors. You will have a diet that is extremely restrictive and repetitive. You will develop a healthy agoraphobia. You will learn to be an intellectual elitist to dissuade the puny animals that impersonate other human beings 
and try to tell you to be their friend. You will be invincible against these attacks because you will not have any friends. You will be secluded in your Roblox home, which will look exactly like your real life home. Anything you do on the internet is something you have to do in real life. And because of that, your life will look very interesting, albeit secluded, which is a good thing. Roblox people have godlike abilities, just like human beings do, but because they are lied to constantly about their potential, they intentionally limit their own abilities so that they can live in fear because they want to be loved. The easy solution to this is to be a heartless ass who does not want to be loved and does not give love to others. This is the type of character trait you will develop in the neat lifestyle. All of your money that you would potentially be using in other situations for other things like gift giving, charity, buying normal things like a house or a new car will not be necessary anymore. You will live in your secluded area and spend your money on gimmicks related to making your internet life incorporated into your real life. What does that mean though exactly? What are the consequences of this? The isolation you will receive from being an outcast is merely the positive reward that comes from being an assembly cat assembler as you are not intentionally deficient as the rest of society now and as a reward will no longer be classified as a standard human being. However, given their lack of ability to understand you, you will likely become villainized and with that you must become a defender of your home by pretending you don't live there, making as little as noise as possible so people will not think you're inside, and have as much garbage, trash, food, and body pillows as possible to hide your appearance in case anyone thinks your living abode is normal and worth robbing. As soon as they enter it, the stench alone will be able to make them run off and you will be in safe hands from what you have learned in this assembly cat instruction video. Now the last point requires some thought. Assembly code requires a lot of thought and may require moments of silent contemplation However, you should not do anything that would be dangerous during these times. The thoughts you should have should be purely about assembly code and not about other things. Let's give our Roblox avatar a minute to contemplate reality to remember something. He might have forgotten. He does not remember what it is, but he does not care because he doesn't know what it is. So it probably wasn't very important, was it? 
The thing about extremely difficult tasks making you arrogant in a healthy way makes you realize how superior some people are to others. When you perform a very intellectually difficult task, it makes you realize all of the difficulties and turmoils of life that people say exist are not really there at all, but really just them and their attempts to destroy the reality we are trying to create with the digital takeover using our assembly code. They create problems because they want problems to exist. Problems are easily solvable by increasing things, such as our willpower to stay in the same seat for hours on end, and to finally get up to eat food because it's done. These types of activities develop an incredible sense of willpower and can be used to accomplish many things, such as give up on the rest of society Stop answering people's questions if they think you're smart. And finally, to have the willpower to finish old Roblox games you didn't finish making. Which I didn't do yet, but I'm going to soon. There are lots of skills that you would think, I must contemplate these things as a assembly cat assembler but I am not going to because an assembly cat assembler is a productive citizen they live in their confined living space a safe residence of simplistic liminal design and they perform their duties they create for themselves because the duties of the real world put on them by others are so simplistic that they live in turmoil with the simplicity of their lives, of how easy their jobs are, and because of that, those jobs given to them that are told to be their identity, the ease of in doing these jobs makes them realize how little their lives little value their lives have in these people's eyes and because of that they shun from all of them and live in their neat lifestyle cave and that is exactly what you are going to do as an assembly cat assembler you are a hard-working citizen who completes jobs that seem impossible but no one is telling you you can't do them because no one else is there. All of your friends and favorite everything is purely fictional now, and your job is to create these things into a reality as an assembly cat assembler. So thank you for being in this assembly cat episode of Am I a good citizen? Thank you, and I will see you next time in Roblox and real life.